and welcome back. So in the previous video, we saw how to create Azure functions using Azure portal, right? We created a sample function where we would take a name as an input and we would return another string saying welcome to that name, right? So now in this video, we want to see how we can call this Azure functions from the logic apps, right? Again, this is going to be a very basic demo because we're going to uh, deep dive much further in the upcoming exercises, right? But right now we just want to see how we can call this Azure function from the logic apps, right? So for that, what we're going to do is the scenario is going to be very similar to the previous logic apps, right? What we want to do is we already have created the logic app previously that takes some kind of data from the queue, service bus queue, right? And so what we'll do is we'll pass the name as a body in that queue and that, that will trigger that logic app. And inside that logic app, we are going to call the function and pass the name parameter, right? So it would return us the longer string with welcome message. And then we'll drop those welcome messages into the topics, right? So that the, the first and the last part we already created in the logic app, right? So this is not a real life scenario, by the way, but we just want to see how to call the functions from the logic app, right? So let's go ahead and open the logic apps that we've created previously. So let's go to the logic app. So we need to enhance the logic app that we already created, right? So here is the receive customer data from queue. Here is the logic app that we created, right? And I had disabled that because we're not using that right after that, right? So uh, let's let's go ahead and enable this logic app, right? So it's working, right? And then I'll click on edit. So it would allow us to change a few things in this logic app, right? So if you recollect, this is the first trigger where we are receiving messages from this queue and then this is the second step where we are passing the same message out to the topics this topic right so let's add another step in between this right? and let's search for functions here you see the azure functions action let's click on that and let's click on the function app that we created. If you recollect, we named it Learn360. So once we select this, then it would give us the options of all the functions within this function app, right? Let's click on that. And sure, we can see the first function that we created is available for us to directly call from the logic app, right? Let's select that function. And then here you can see it's asking us either for the body or for the parameter, right? Here we can choose the methods and parameters and, and all the other options, right? So let's leave this as is for now. And we, what we want to do is we want to pass the body. And in that body, you know, we would have a JSON with name parameter into that, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to pass the same body in the queue, okay? So we'll receive that body in this first shape and then whatever was received here let's pass that to the function right and when you want to pass the message to this function uh, if you recollect in the earlier section in the service bus we saw that when the messages are received in the queue by this service bus right when the messages are received in the logic app the message body has been encoded right for the security purposes right? so if we want to use that body and pass it over to the function what we need to do is we need to decode that and azure uses base 64 as the encoding mechanism so let's go ahead and pass the message body but before we pass let's decode that right so in this request body let's click here that would bring us this dynamic content selection box, right? Where usually we have been using the dynamic content, but there's a second tab called expression. So we can use this expression to allow any kind of, you know, 
enhancement or enrichment to any of the dynamic content there are many functions available here you know some of the standard default functions so let's click on here and let's type in base 64 and it will give us all the options right so we want to do base 64 to binary for this purpose and then let's open the parenthesis so it would tell you what you can pass here right so see you can pass the base 64 encoded string as a value so let's go back to the dynamic content and let's select the content which was base 64 encoded right so we select that and we hit ok so now what would happen is the content which was base 64 encoded would be would be decoded through binary and then it would be sent to the function so that function can actually read the body right and then return the output so let's go ahead and save this logic app and let's do our test let's go ahead and drop a message in the queue and let's see what happens right so in order to drop the message in the queue we need to use the service bus explorer i hope you installed that on your machine so let's go ahead and open the service bus explorer here and let's delete whatever messages we currently have in them so let's purge them okay and let's have it clean so that we can do our own test and there's no messages in the queue okay so if you remember this is the queue that the logic app is listening to and as soon as we drop the message in this queue the logic app would get triggered right and then the logic app would call the functions and whatever is returned from the function would be written out to this two subscriptions right so let's go ahead and write a message to this queue send messages and in the in the in this body pane so in here i have this simple json message right with name as one of the parameters and i'm passing the value as a johnson right let's see what happens now okay so the message has been sent let's see if it was processed right once it's received from the queue it would trigger the logic app and it the logic app would then write the messages in the subscriptions okay so it's gone that means the logic app has been executed let's see if it was successful or not let's refresh the subscription okay there we go one message and one message right let's see what the message is right let's click on this message now when you click on this message it would allow you to access whatever messages are there in this topic right okay there you go hello johnson welcome to azure functions right let's give it one more try let's send another name sam start and, and let's see if it was processed All right let's give it a second it should quickly trigger the logic app in the one minute period there we go it's received it's received let's see the output message if this is the first one this is the second one there we go right so let's go ahead and see what happened in the logic app so let's go back to the portal and let's click on the logic app name and if we refresh then it would show us the latest execution history here right let's refresh this and there we go these are the last to executions right let's click on that and visually here you can see right this green check mark means that it was successfully executed if it had failed it would show you a red box there right so the first shape is where we received the message from the queue and we can see the content is encoded right and the function was called the, the message was sent to the function and this is how it returned the output right and the send shape would have sent that output this output body to the topics right and we just saw that it was received in the topic 
So I hope you are following this and I hope you understood how uh, how the logic app would be able to call functions that you be created in this section, right? And don't worry, uh, this is not a real life scenario, but we, we are going to deal with multiple real life scenarios in the upcoming sections and we will make a lot of use of functions and logic apps, right? So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.